Math Grade 1 Quarter 2 Week 1 Let's learn about Measurement and Geometry Day 1 to 2 Matatag Curriculum Hello kids! It's me! Teacher Frel Don't forget to subscribe Like And share and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 1, we will discuss about measurement and geometry. Day 1. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to compare lengths and distances between two objects directly. Using comparative words such as longer, shorter, same length, taller, nearer, farther, wider, narrower, thicker, and thinner. Compare the two sets of objects, set A and set B. Set A contains short objects while set B contains long objects. When we say short and long, we are referring to the length of the object. What is length? Length is the measurement or size of an object from one end to the other or the distance from end to end. Lesson purpose or intention To compare the lengths and distances of two objects directly using comparative words. Read the following words. Length, width, short, shorter, long, longer, same length, taller, nearer, farther, wider, narrower, thicker, thinner, and direct comparison. Let's compare the two objects below. Ball pen and a scissor. How can we verify which object is longer? We can verify which object is longer by placing the objects side by side, align one of their ends, and then compare the other ends to see which one is longer. Alternately, alignment may also be done using the other ends of the objects. Which one is longer and which one is shorter? The ball pen is longer than the scissor. The scissor is shorter than the ball pen. Physically placing two objects side by side to see which is longer is known as direct comparison. In comparing the lengths of two objects directly, they should be physically aligned. In other words, one of their ends must be aligned to ensure a correct comparison. Compare the ruler and the pencil case. Which one is longer? And which one is shorter? Let's fill in the blanks. The blank is longer than the blank. Which is longer? Correct! The ruler is longer than the pencil case. The blank is shorter than the blank. Which one is shorter? Correct! The pencil case is shorter than the ruler. Let's compare the heights of the two kids, Kailin and Kurt. Who is taller between the two? Let's fill in the blanks. Blank is taller than blank. Blank is shorter than blank. So let's answer. Kurt is taller than... Kailin. Kailin is shorter than Kurt. The attribute being measured is height. We measure the distance from end to end or top to bottom or bottom to top, which is also length. To compare their heights directly, we physically align the two kids. In this situation, compare the thickness of books. This side is the length. This side is the width. And this side 
is the thickness. Thickness. The measurement from the front to the back of the book. Length. The measurement from the top to the bottom of the book when it is lying flat. Width. The measurement from one side to the other side of the book when it is lying flat. Which book is thicker? Compare directly the thickness of the books. Is it A or B? As you can see, the two books have the same thickness. The attribute being measured is thickness. We measure the distance from end to end, top to bottom, or bottom to top, which is also length. To compare their thickness directly, we physically align the two books like this, so they have the same thickness. Let's compare A and B. Which book is thicker and which book is thinner? Book A is thicker than book B. Book B is thinner than book A. Now, compare the length of books. Which book is longer? Is it A or B? Book A is longer than book B. And book B is shorter than book A. Now, which book is wider? Is it A or B? Book A is narrower than book B. And book B is wider than book A. In this situation, compare the distance of the two animals. Which animal jump farther? The frog is farther from the starting line than the rabbit. The rabbit is nearer from the starting line than the frog. So that means the frog is farther while the rabbit is nearer from the starting line. The attribute being measured is distance. Distance is the amount of space between two objects or points or how far apart the objects or points are. The amount of space here is from the starting line to the feet of the animals. Remember, length is the measure or the size of an object from one end to another or the distance from one point to the other. We compare the length, height, width, and distance of objects. The process of comparing objects by physically aligning them is called direct comparison. We physically align the two objects to find out which one is longer or shorter. In other words, aligning one of their ends and then comparing the other ends. If object A is longer than object B, we can also say that object B is shorter than object A. For this activity, encircle the correct answer from the given choices. Number 1. The length of the papaya is shorter than, longer than, the same as, the length of the banana. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is longer than. Number 2. The length of the broom is shorter than, Longer than, the same as, the length of the umbrella. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is, shorter than. Next, write A or B in the blanks. Number 1. The length, width, and height of box A and box B were measured. Letter A, which box is longer? Is it A or B? Correct! The longer box is A. Letter B. Which box is narrower? Is it A or B? Correct! The box that is narrower is A. Letter C. Which box is taller? Is it A or B? Correct! The box that is taller is B. Number 2. 
two glasses, a pitcher of juice, and a spoon were arranged as shown. Letter A. Which glass is nearer to the pitcher? Is it A or B? Correct! The glass that is nearer to the pitcher is A. Letter B. Which glass is farther from the spoon? Is it A or B? Correct! The answer is B. Day 2. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to compare lengths and distances of three or more objects directly using comparative words such as longer, longest, shorter, shortest, taller, tallest, nearer, nearest, farther, farthest, wider, widest, narrower, and narrowest, thick, and thickest. Let's review our lesson yesterday. What is length? Length is the measure or size of an object from one end to the other or the distance from end to end. For example, which one is longer and which one is shorter? Let's answer this. The belt is longer than the ribbon. The ribbon is shorter than the belt. Lesson Purpose or Intention To compare the lengths of three or more objects directly using comparative words. Read the following words. Length Longer Longest Shorter Shortest Taller Tallest Nearer Nearest, farther, farthest, same length, and direct comparison. Describe the comparison of the children's height in two ways. This is Vincent and this is Shara. Shara is taller than Vincent, while Vincent is shorter than Shara. What if Shane join and stand beside Vincent and Shara? Who is the tallest? Correct! Shara is the tallest of them all. We use taller or shorter when we compare the heights of two kids. We use tallest or shortest when we compare the heights of three or more kids. Now, arrange them from shortest to tallest. Shane, Vincent, and Shara. Who is the taller, Vincent or Shane? Correct! Vincent is taller than Shane. Who is the shorter, Shane or Shara? Correct! Shane is shorter than Shara. And who is the shortest? Correct! Shane is the shortest of them all. Who is the second tallest? Correct! Vincent is the second tallest. Let's read this situation. Three children each have a paper boat and place it in the water to race. Which paper boat is farthest from the three children? Correct! The blue paper boat is the farthest from the three children. Which paper boat is nearest from the three children? Correct! The purple paper boat is the nearest from the three children. Which paper boat is farther from the three children? Correct! The green paper boat is the farther from the three children. Which paper boat is nearer from the three children? Correct! The purple paper boat is the nearer from the three children. Now for this activity, fill in the blanks. Write A, B, or C. A. Ribbon B. Necktie C. Belt Number 1. 
Blank is the longest. Is it A, B, or C? Correct! The longest is belt. Belt is the longest. Number 2. Blank is the shortest. Is it A, B, or C? Correct! The answer is letter B. Necktie is the shortest. Number 3. Blank is shorter than blank. What is the answer? Correct! B is shorter than C. Or B is shorter than A. Number 4. Blank is longer than blank. What is the answer? Correct! The answer is A is longer than B. Or we can say C is longer than B. Fill in the blanks. Write A, B, or C. Number 1. Blank is the longest. Is it A, B, or C? Correct! C is the longest. Number 2. Blank are the shortest. What is the answer? Correct! A and B are the shortest. Number 3. Blank are shorter than blank. What are the answer? Correct! A and B are shorter than C. Number 4. Blank is longer than blank. What are the answer? Correct! C is longer than A and B. And number 5. Blank and blank have the same length. What are the answer? Correct! The answer are A and B have the same length. Remember, we compared the length, height, width, thickness, and distance of objects. The process of comparing objects that can be physically aligned is called direct comparison. We physically align the objects to find out which one is longer, longest, shorter, shortest, taller, tallest, nearer, nearest, farther, or farthest. And now, do this activity. The objects are compared based on the attribute. And circle the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Thickest book. A, B, or C? Correct! The answer is... Letter C is the thickest book. Number 2. Shortest feather. Is it A, B, or C? Correct! The answer is letter A is the shortest feather. Number 3. Nearest to the flower vase. Is it A, B, or C? Correct! The answer is letter B is the nearest to the flower vase. Number 4. Tallest can. Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct! The answer is letter D is the tallest can. And number 5, widest base. Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct! The answer is letter C is the widest base. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!